Hey everybody, Brian Davis with Ryan Otulo here at Statesman.com. After the big Texas victory, 38-7, Horns are 1-0. What would you think? I thought it went about as expected. Mm -hmm. Defense was dominant. I mean, that's, that's as good of a performance as you're going to see. The offense kind of fed off of the defense a little bit. And uh, North Texas has a lot of work to do. <laughs> yes, they do. That, that's very not a very so. good team right now, with all due respect to Dan McCartney's squad that won nine games last year. Um, but a very good start for Texas. Not only do they win, not only do they win big, they, they look good and convincing to them. Absolutely. And the biggest thing that I saw in the locker room when we were coming out of there is that talking to Sed Reed, Quandre Diggs, a lot of other guys, I felt relief. You know, they, they had relief you know, on their faces to me, because think about it. There was a big eight month buildup, Charlie Strong's first game, toughness, Texas tough, putting the tee back in Texas. And Ryan, just like you said, they won, looked very good. And now they have to feel good going into a BYU game where we're gonna hear a lot about pride. You're gonna hear a lot about pride because that was a, the low point of last year, the Absolutely. low point of many years. Uh, yeah, when you go through all that this team has gone through this off season, uh, being told they're soft, being broken down, built back up. For them to come out here and not play well would have been bad. Would have hurt their confidence. You might have had some people questioning, you know, what's going on here. Sure. But they got to be feeling really good about themselves. They deserve to be feeling really good about themselves. But the games get tougher from here on out. BYU, UCLA, <laughs> right. I mean, Baylor's not too much far in the future. So, you know, it, it, the degree of difficulty definitely ramps up. Right. Let's bring the room down a little bit. Let's talk about Dominic Espinosa, a huge injury at center. Uh, he was going out wide on the field, had a North Texas player fall on his ankle. His ankle could be broken. That, that's a worst case scenario. Uh, Charlie Strong did not want to indicate, and Texas officials did not say, we may not know until tomorrow. That is a massive loss for this O-line if he's out. He's the only returning starter on the Correct. offensive line, so without him, there's no returning starters. Um, He's the heartbeat of that offense, too. Leadership-wise, just a rock. People really like him, respect him, and a very good player, too. Sure. You know, All-conference type of player. Beyond that, David Ash, a big story. You know, he's back from mm -hmm. his injuries. And looked good at times, looked not so good at times, but never bad. I thought he was I thought he looked serviceable. Rusty. I thought he looked rusty at times. Yeah. Some balls were overthrown, but he was helped out by John Harris, who sure. coming into tonight as a fifth-year senior had nine career catches. He had seven tonight, 110 yards, a touchdown. We kept hearing all camp that this guy's playing unbelievable. I don't know if you <laughs> believed it. I don't know that I believed it, but I believe it now. I mean, he looked very good, and you know, if he's playing that way, David at. Uh, David Ash's best friend. Yeah, and David Ash's top target tonight. A couple other quick things. Uh, Dylan Haynes told us tonight he's actually been put on scholarship two weeks ago, so he's no longer a walk-on. Very interesting news. Uh, Jordan Hicks also had his first career interception tonight, first since probably like 2004 or something like that when he was in high school. He's like a he's like a 20th year senior by this point, right? And also Demarco Cobbs with a pick six. So a lot of good things, good vibes going for the defense uh, going forward. What does that say right there? It says 94. What's that mean? North Texas had 94 offensive yards today. That's pretty good for Texas. And North Texas did not convert a third down until the fourth quarter. Uh, it was a dominating performance. It was, it was impressive. Total domination start to finish. We'll see if they can do it again against BYU and then UCLA. It's game one. There's 11 more to go. You'll read all about it on statesman.com. For Ryan, I'm Brian. We'll see you later.